morning and welcome to Mission Control Houston and Space Station Live. We're here inside the International Space Station Flight Control Room where the flight control team is watching over systems on board the space station. Leading that team is Flight Director Mike Lammers with astronaut Aki Hoshide acting as Capcom. With one day left until the next Russian Soyuz launch and Orbital Science's new Cygnus cargo vehicle delayed until after that, the Expedition 37 crew is making their way through one last day of normal science and maintenance work before traffic to the station picks up again. The crew is now more than halfway through their day, which began at 1 a.m. Central Time. They're currently orbiting about 260 miles above uh, the Southern Ocean, heading northeast towards Indonesia. They are Russian Commander Fyodor Yurchikin, U.S. Flight Engineer Karen Nyberg, and European Space Agency Flight Engineer Luca Parmitano. They arrived at the space station on May 28th and have now spent 118 days in space. They've been alone at the space station since the other half of what was then the Expedition 36 crew left on September 10th. They'll be getting some company soon with the Soyuz launch scheduled for tomorrow. That will be delivering flight engineers Mike Hopkins and Oleg Kotov as well as Sergei Rozansky. And it's scheduled to lift off from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan at 3.58 p.m. Central Time to arrive at the station six hours later at 9.48 p.m. Seeing here some video of the crew inside the integration facility at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan as they prepared for their launch over the weekend. Today, the crew is going to be appearing before the Russian State Commission and participating in one final news conference in Baikonur. Meanwhile in space, their waiting crewmates are busy with science and maintenance activities. Karen Nyberg is performing several runs of the InSpace 3 experiment, which examines colloidal fluids classified as smart materials, which transition to a solid-like state in the presence of a, magnetic, of a magnetic field. The hope is that new manufacturing models based on the idea of having these nanoparticles act as self-assembling building blocks could be used to improve or develop active mechanical systems such as new brake systems, seat suspensions, stress transducers, robotics, rovers, airplane, airplane landing gear, gear, and vibration damping systems. While uh, Nyberg worked on that experiment, Luca Parmitano checked off several of his activities. He spent some time first with the BCAT experiment, or the binary colloidal alloy test, which studies the effects of phase separation on crystal growth. And he did some annual maintenance on the station's exer exercise bike, uh, lubricating some of its guides. In the Destiny Laboratory, he replaced a ground strap on the Express Rack 3, which is one of the modular rack systems inside the station. It can house up to 80 experience experiments at a time. And he also worked on one of the spacesuits inside the Quest airlock to replace a waterline vent tube that's coming up on its expiration date. Some video of that... Uh, activity here. On the Russian side of the station, Commander Fyodor Yurchikin performed some communication checkouts with Baikonur in preparation for the congratulatory calls that will be made following tomorrow's launch, and he worked on the Coulomb Crystal Experiment, which studies the behavior of charged particles and weightlessness, as well as a uh, technology demonstration experiment on guidance and navigation called Dalnost, or Distance. That's what's going on in space today, and this is Mission Control Houston.